I just I just wanted to ask, how did you get to that uh, agency insight page that you were just at? Yeah. All right. There we go. So like they'll break down. You can get this entire like deal here. See this? Beautiful. So like this is what this is really amazing because here's this is what's going to be important. This is really going to be good whenever you need to like optimize and stuff like reducing friction across like the digital path. Uh, you can actually look like font size is too small. Like who cares about that? Boomers, you can see like 32%. Like imagine if your audience is this 32%, you're missing out on a huge portion if the font's too small. And literally literally if you just align with that audience on each and every one of these you know that's going to be huge so product information was difficult to review that's another thing app website took too long to load this one's the biggest of them all out of most like that one's imperative so many people mess this one up too that just means you have text that doesn't fit or yeah like the image is just cropped off Like if you went through all these, it, it'd be a game changer. But I mean, like the amount of information you can pull from this, uh, the value of it is really like, this is valuable for like, if it's your business, it's extremely valuable. But if it's your client's business, then like you have to weigh how much, you know, you play into those different roles until you have to like start requesting their team and other people to start taking account for it right yeah this is extremely well put together this is fantastic information yeah I've oh, never yeah. Seen this, one. this is like the tip of the iceberg i mean it's unreal how much info they'll put in these things a lot of this stuff they'll release like the algorithm updates in here a lot of times they'll like drop in like the main things that are actually resulting in good results. Increase the use of automation in your campaigns, boost liquidity, and gain better results from Facebook. I mean, they're going to give you like right here, they're giving you signals, establish a signal strategy for your business, audience liquidity. I mean, this this is basic info here, but I mean, they're going to give you more info once you actually get down into, you know, the weeds of these things. Yeah, this one's actually kind of basic and it actually looks like it has a lot of info. So just imagine what would happen if you stumbled across like their actual detailed versions of these. So like they have the guides here. Then you have all those, but the toolkit, that's another thing. You haven't used any of these pages? I did not know they existed. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're pretty valuable. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's so much to this. I guess I've gleaned anecdotal evidence from just other people's, you know, ebooks and just webinars and stuff like that. But this is uh, well put together and a lot more detailed than I think the generic stuff I get is. Yeah. So. Yeah, I could get lost in this stuff. There's so many rabbit holes in this thing, but yeah, I mean, it's like a good way to like go through and flush out everything. Look at that. 70% yeah, of people want to hear. Oh, this one was huge. So like we went from uh, promoting like for some companies, like uh, just their product and actually just uh, doing ads where it was showcasing all their successes. The results were unreal in comparison. Like highlighting the success the brand has had. It's been phenomenal. Cool. Awesome. Well, something else I can dig into. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Recommend jumpstarting a a campaign like that without having any audience or any customers. Yeah. Let me pull up. Uh, so you need to do interest testing. Are you doing any of that? I haven't really started the campaign yet. I was kind of stuck on that part of the question. But what okay. Do you mean yeah, yeah. Let me go ahead and pull it up. Uh, 
Let's see here. You able to see my screen? Yes. So this right here. Uh, just group it by category of interest. So whichever e-commerce, like uh, whatever the product is, what type of audience it is, just start listing out individual interests for it. Oh, fantastic. Uh, you just search for that on your um, on your videos? Yes. Or CBO, just right, yeah, just CBO, CBO, CBO structure. See how it's structured here, actually? So like this one, CBO proven lookalike audiences, and then the interest one. This one mm -hmm. over here, this one's uh, for testing, proven, retargeting. What's going on here? So that's for lookalikes. Yeah, so I mean, it breaks down all those intricacies that go inside. Okay, uh, and I'll, I'll take a look at that. Uh, do you do you start your, um, like your 30 ad set, and like matrix, when you uh, start that interest test, or do you, you start that interest test with like one or two different ads just spread across interests? Ah, there we go. You're answering the questions right there. <laughs> yeah, you, you can test a lot. Perfect. Well, yeah, that's uh, a definitely info. a lot of reading material there for me. So I'll uh, yeah, take a look at that. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. All right, if there are any other questions, make sure to ask your questions in the question box.